Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Sunday, November 3rd, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down this slate of games. We got week nine action, Sunday's games, two early starts, one o'clock Eastern kicks, and then we got one afternoon kick as well to get into. So let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. I'll be in there chiming in as well, guys. So uh, it helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific kick up first. Also remember the time change, guys. Don't want to let this one slip away as we got the L.A. Chargers, Cleveland Browns. 42 being the total, minus one in the hook. That is the Chargers as the road favorite. Chargers come in four and three on the season. The Browns come in just two and six. But last week they had the change at the quarterback position and a little spark offensively getting the win as Jameis Winston came in. And, uh, hey, they've covered two of the last three games here, the Browns, if you're looking towards the dog. But actually, guys, I'm going to look at this total. And I know the Chargers just won over on the season, but they did have 19 first downs last week. They flirted with 400 yards. So I think they'll be able to score some points. And bringing up the Jameis Winston situation, you know, he's an over quarterback. We talked about it on last week's show. Sometimes I feel like the NFL – betting markets are more in tune to changes in the side market than they are in the totals market. And Jameis Winston, if you look at his downfalls, you know, kind of his weaknesses, it's throwing the ball to the other team. And that's not necessarily bad for overs. Sometimes those go for pick sixes, set up the opposing offense for scoring situations. So when Jameis Winston is behind center, he's going to take chances. And I think they're going to be able to score some points and let up, let up points as well. I mean, their defense just let up 20 plus points in six straight games. Seven of the eight games this season, they let up uh, more than 20 points. So, guys, 42 here. It's not that tall of a total. I think the Chargers and Browns get up and over here, 42 flat to lead us off. We also got the second early kick. We're heading to Baltimore. Kind of same profile here. Denver Broncos. Baltimore Ravens, Ravens, heavy favorites here, minus nine and a half at home off of the loss to Cleveland last week and 46 and a hook being the total. Denver comes in five and three on the season. The Ravens also five and three. Ravens, the story here, though, seven of their eight games have gone over the total. I mean, they're, they're the best over team in, in all of the NFL. And Denver, four straight overs themselves, at least four touchdowns in three of the last four games. Their offense is moving the ball. Bo Nix, say what you want about him. I mean, a rookie quarterback, he's a guy that will make plays with his feet, throw the ball down the field. And this Baltimore Ravens defense, you know, it, it's not as good as years past. It really isn't. They let up, what, 400 yards to Joe Burrow and five touchdowns. James Winston just last week, 337 yards, three TDs himself. Baltimore's hit four straight overs. They've scored 30-plus in four of their last five games. 40 plus in two of those games. I mean, they go for, you know, 40 points here. We're looking pretty on this over. Let's start it off, guys. Sunday early. More scoring is 75% of the games last week in week eight went over the total. Hey, I think we're getting more scoring here in the NFL. Let's go over 46 and a half Broncos and Ravens in the second early kick. We got one more uh, afternoon kick on the Sunday slate. A reminder, if you can't comment below, it does help out the algorithm. Smash that like button as well. Premium picks up and available. Wagertalk.com, Drew Martin, experts page off the clean sweep last week for the clients on Sunday in the NFL. And a recap of the video, guys. Last Sunday, we did go 3-0. and Drew's Daily Diamond on Sunday in the NFL. 100% plus three units. Into the weekend, the overall record, 46 and 31. That's 60% win percentage plus 11.7 units of profit. So $100 better over the last five plus weeks, up $1,170. Bet in every play given out for free here. Hey, smash that like button, guys, if you're start part of the profits. As we got 425 Eastern kick, 125 Pacific, we are heading to Lambeau Field for the Detroit Lions and Green Bay Packers. 47 and a hook being the total. We are seeing Detroit split line here, minus two and a half or minus three, depending where we're shopping. Great matchup, NFC North, six and one for the Lions, both straight up and against the spread. Green Bay comes in six and two for the season. However, they have lost two straight against the spread, tight point spreads, not covering the number. And a big storyline here is the Packers and their quarterback. 
Jordan Love, his status still unknown as I'm doing the video. Uh, Malik Willis did come in for him last week, actually played pretty well. I mean, uh, but at the same time, it would be a huge drop off if Jordan Love does not play as a groin issue. I believe he missed practice on Wednesday and the Packers do have a bye week next week. So this is kind of a tough handicap. Is he going to play? Is he not? Probably a game time decision here. Now it's a big game, you know, in, in division here. They want to get this win. But at the same time, you got your like, quote unquote, franchise quarterback with a bye week next week. Do you just hold him out? We'll see what happens. I'm leaning towards maybe they they hold him out. But uh, that can't be the only part of this handicap. It's also about the Detroit Lions. And look, six and one straight up and against the spread. They got Jared Goff, I mean, the most profitable quarterback in the NFL over the last five years. This guy is just underrated. He wins games. He covers numbers. Now, another storyline here in Lambeau is it does look like weather might be an issue. Rain, 80% chance of rain in the forecast. And there is kind of a theme out there with Jared Goff that he doesn't play as well. He does not play as well in the weather I, I'm not so sure I'm a subscriber to that. I mean, he's a California guy. He played his uh, college football for the uh, the California Golden Bears there. So weather, not, you know, as he was coming up, probably not a big issue. And then in the NFL, I was doing some research. It looks like he's he's really only played in three weather issue games. And in two of them, he had more than a 70 percent completion percentage the one bad one was 2001 against Pittsburgh he went 14 to 25 for just 114 yards that was that that was kind of what got this going but in the other two with rain he actually performed pretty well I think Detroit even if it is rain they're they're going to kind of you know keep the ball on the ground anyway at this price point minus two and a half I mean, look, Detroit has just been such a wagon, just cashing tickets. I'm not stepping in front of the Lions. I'm really not, guys. Uh, minus two and a half. I think it's short. I think they win by a field goal plus, maybe a touchdown plus. If Jordan Love doesn't play, it's even better. So let's go with the Lions over the Packers in the afternoon kick. Uh, that's going to do it for Sunday's show here. We got the Lions minus two and a hook. Getting that number, guys. Make sure to shop around. Two and a half is available both in Vegas and offshore. We get the Broncos and Ravens up and over 46 and a half and over 42 Browns and Chargers. So that's the Sunday uh, Drew's Daily Diamond. Smash that like button, comment below, guys. We'll be back on Monday for the college football opening line report right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. So thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Cash those tickets.